Hey guys, so I have made plenty of videos demonstrating all the new features and changes that the Android 12 or the One UI 4 update brought to Samsung Galaxy smartphones. And what I've noticed is that people keep commenting about a feature that has been removed from this update. So let me clarify. So as you can see from the screenshots of the comments, the feature in question is the phone's ability to extract text out of a screenshot. So to give you guys a better perspective, here I've got my Galaxy Note 9 which is running Android 10, so fairly old version. So let's open an image which has got some text in it, so for example this image. Now if you use the edge panels and use the smart select edge panel and tap on rectangle, you can actually extract text out of images. So you can take a screenshot using the smart select edge panel and tap on done, you get an option which says extract text. And if you tap this, this will extract all of the text that is in the picture and then you can copy it and send it over wherever you want because this is just plain text. Now on Android 12, Samsung has relocated the extract text button. That feature is still there. So let's open up the same picture and use the smart select edge panel and tap on rectangle and tap on done. So you might have noticed the extract text button is not there. So where is the extract text button? Well. Now they have moved it to the bottom over here. So tap on the T button and that will extract the text out of an image. So exact same feature, they have just relocated the extract text button down over here. So the T button is now the extract text button. And they've also made some improvements. The older version kind of makes a little bit of mistakes, but this one is accurate. So this feature is still there. They have just relocated the extract text button. So I hope this clears out some of the confusion that you guys are having. By the way, this page is awesome. Do make sure to follow them. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something. Stay tuned for more videos like these and make sure to check out my YouTube channel because I have plenty of videos on Android 12 One UI 4. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.